All righty, Sabretooth, let's go. So Sabretooth, sort of the evil version of Wolverine, arguably the better version of Wolverine. I'd actually, I'd say he's like a very good character, Sabretooth. You know, he sort of is like Wolverine, except better in my opinion. If we're going to just look flat out here at stats, again, I'm not much of a stat junkie, so I'm just going off a base of what I see here. Um, if you, you can see Sabretooth on the left and Wolverine is on the right. Um, they both have about this, actually the same amount of health. Wolverine does more damage, but Sabretooth is actually the tankier character with 2042 armor compared to only 817 on Wolverine's part, and he does have more focus. So as you can see, relatively comparable characters, except uh, Sa Sabretooth's going to be a little tankier than Wolverine, and Wolverine's going to be dealing a little bit more damage, but Sabretooth does make up for that with his basic attack. So as you can see, Claw Rake here does 340% damage compared to Wolverine's for only 240% damage, but if it does create it, it applies bleed and it is piercing so there is a little bit of benefit to using wolverine but Sabretooth is going to be doing more base damage with just this basic attack next up is thrash which is very similar to slice and dice Sabretooth will attack the primary target for 460 percent damage if the target has taunt this ability deals an additional 80 percent piercing damage so a lot of damage coming out there from Sabretooth, and then he'll attack all adjacent targets for 320% damage, and this attack cannot be blocked. So we see that a lot with Brotherhood, they cannot be blocked, but oh, man, that is a, those are some high damage numbers coming out from Sabretooth. When you compare it to Slice and Dice coming from Wolverine, he'll only do 150% piercing, and he'll apply bleed on a crit, and then the nice thing about Wolverine is he can chain to up to four targets and apply bleed on crits, um, but so sort of less damage for attacking more people on Wolverine's end and applying bleeds. You know, Sabretooth Tooth just goes straight out and deals more damage and this is sort of in mind with the tank to just go ham on the tank and just do a massive amount of damage and hopefully get them out of the way so that way you can take out all the squishies on the enemy team and then for their ultimate we got blood rush from saber tooth now this is actually pretty different from wolverine's ultimate saber tooth will attack the primary target for 380 percent damage and then apply bleed for two turns then he can chain to four to five targets for 330 percent damage and apply bleed for two turns counter attack breaks this chain and if magneto <laughs> if magneto is an ally though this attack cannot be counter attack so you know he just pretty much gets a free like aoe essentially here just Ooh, I mean, that's just sort of better than Slice and Dice for Wolverine. You know, of course, Slice and Dice is just a skill. This is an ultimate. But still, I mean, that just flat out applies bleeds. You know, you don't have to skip the whole Wolverine needs to crit to apply the bleed. Like, just Sabretooth is just like, I'm applying bleed to everybody with his skills. And that is very high damage numbers for Sabretooth. I think it complements the Brotherhood team very well. Not to mention that he's getting 5% more damage for a Brotherhood ally on his passive. And if we compare the healing on his passive to Wolverine, Wolverine will heal for 20% of his max health um and then that's a little bit of a revive chance but that never happens anyways saber tooth's gonna heal for 15 percent of his max health but when he drops below 50 percent health he'll gain death proof so he loses a little bit of healing to gain a lot more damage compared to wolverine so just saber tooth will be fine pyro is sort of gonna tick down the enemies very slowly with his bleeds Juggernaut's just this tank with some massive damage that can do every so often. Magneto we'll talk about a little later. Mystique's sort of that tech character where you're used if you're going against Nick Fury or Black Widow and you want to try to get rid of some of those invisibility. Um, and then Sabretooth's sort of like your assassin. He's going to go straight in on the tank, going to do massive amount of damage, go through the entire team doing crazy percents, you know, 460%, 380%. Those are some nice numbers, some chunky numbers coming out here from Sabretooth. So he's a very good character. And a nice thing about him is he isn't as reliant on being with the Brotherhood as a lot of these other characters are. Say, you know, a lot of these characters have on every single skill a bonus with Magneto. He only gains the bonus with Blood Rush. And then, of course, his passive, but we'll get more Brotherhood eventually, so that'll sort of round him out when we get more Brotherhood characters one day. So, the nice thing about Sabretooth is he isn't so reliable on being with the Brotherhood of Evil. But again, this is another character I'd put in roughly the A tier. Um, maybe, no, nah, I'd say A tier. There's a little bit of a consideration for B tier because he lacks a little bit of utility, but I feel like he more than makes up with it for the amount of damage that he's going to be doing. Plus, he's synergizing a little bit with a... Uh, with pyro with his applying bleed for two turns because then pyro can extend those bleeds you know between pyro and saber tooth you're gonna have a lot of bleeds coming out from the brotherhood team very very impressive stuff from saber tooth not to mention saber tooth is just an intimidating guy he's all big with those giant claws kind of homicidal very scary stuff from saber tooth 
So, another character I'd highly advise you build up from the Brotherhood team. What's awkward about him is you can only get Sabretooth in the premium orbs as of now, so I wouldn't, don't don't buy premium orbs. They're a horrible value. Um, but hopefully he will become farmer one a day, and then you can get Sabretooth. Otherwise, you can just skip Sabretooth, farm out Wolverine, Storm, Mystique, Juggernaut, and um, the, then, uh, who's, the, who's the last one? Pyro for this event because you know Sabretooth has the premium orb so that's sort of the five characters you're going to be farming out so that's the unfortunate thing about Sabretooth not a lot of us are going to have access to him and he's not exactly crazy enough that I I would buy premium you shouldn't buy premium orbs either way but I, he's not that crazy so don't be too worried about not having him but he is still a very good character and somebody you should be keeping in mind especially if you're seeing him in Blitz you know keep in mind what Sabretooth can do because that is some hefty damage coming out from him and with that being said what do I know? I'm just a 17-year-old. See you guys later.